I want to talk about this candle. I study Egyptology and Egyptian history in college. First thing I want to say is Cleopatra was never a black woman. Never. Keep in mind, I'm not even talking about ancient Egyptians. Oh, oh no, I'm talking about Cleopatra. This is the coin of Queen Cleopatra. This is her profile. This is her. Look at the nose. Look at the hair. She was a Macedonian woman. She was born in Egypt. And she was the last queen of Egypt. If you want to imagine Queen Cleopatra, she looked something like this. And this has nothing to do with racism. I'm just stating facts. Now let's talk about Asian Egyptians. If you want to imagine Asian Egyptian skin colors, here we have it. We have all kinds of skin colors with curly hair, with straight hair. This is Egypt. And let's not forget something really important. How the Asian Egyptian artist, okay, was very extremely talented. And they cared about details. They cared about everything. See their talent on every single statue around. You can literally visit any kind of museum, you will find Egyptian stuff there. They were great painters, they were great builders. Like, look at the pyramids, look at the temples, look at every single thing they created. This is how the Egyptian artist represented the queen of Punt in South Africa. This scene was in the temple of Deir Bahari of Queen Hatshepsut, and this is how they presented her. Simply, they thought she was sick because it's the first time they see someone with this type of body. And she looked completely different than Egyptian women. Look at her skin color. You can never see that on an Egyptian queen or an Egyptian king. And beside her, all her servants, same color. Look at her nose. Look at every single detail. She, this is what, how Africans represented in ancient Egyptian history. And this is how they represented the enemies of Egypt from South Africa, from Asia, from whatever. Look at the skin color. Look at their clothes. It's completely different from Egyptian because we are Egyptians. And this is how Africans were represented in ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, we didn't use uh, animal teeth for jewelry. Gold. Gold. We always used gold, gemstones, and maybe even glass because we were fancy, they were talented, and never animal teeth. Like, this is, this is not right. Part two. This is part two showing you how Africans were represented in ancient Egypt. I study Egyptology and Egyptian history. You can notice the nose, the mouth, how completely different they were from Egyptians. Look, look at the clothes. If you want to imagine how the great king, Ramses II, looked like, this is how he looked like. Look at him. This is an Egyptian face. And this is an Egyptian woman. This couple is really famous and they are currently in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. You can notice the difference in skin color from the male and the female. Look at her. Look at her skin color. Look at her face. And in ancient Egypt, they always made sure to represent the male more tanned than the woman. Because men used to work. So this is why he is tanned and she is not. She, does, she didn't work. She stayed at home. So that's why her skin color is pale. And that's why he is more tanned. This is Queen Nefertari. King Seti the first. And look at the jewelry they used to wear. Look at the necklace amazing and gold we used gold we didn't use animal teeth for jewelry no no so if you want to find um your identity go find it somewhere else because literally egypt belongs to us egyptians our civilization belongs to us egyptians our country and land belongs to us egyptians you can admire it you can be obsessed with egyptology but don't try and like even try to steal it. Like who, who does that? It's completely disrespectful. I would be super happy to watch a documentary about um, queens and kings of uh, South Africa. 
But if you're gonna make something about my country, you better do it right or don't do it at all. I'm 100% sure that they didn't even hire an actual Egyptologist to revise the script or whatever. If you're interested in Egyptian history, you can watch this series. It's on an app called Watch It, Om Eldonia. And it has subtitles, it has English subtitles, and I think like French, I don't know. It's accurate, it's right, it's made by Egyptians, and it's a perfect representation of my country. Yeah. This is the real Queen Cleopatra, and this is the black washed Cleopatra. In that same Netflix documentary, ancient Egyptians are shown to have black skin, which is completely untrue. This is done by Afrocentrics, which is a group of black people who are sadly unproud of their ancestry and are ashamed of it to the degree that they're trying to claim other people's ancestors. They take uh, pictures of ancient Egyptian monuments, they photoshop it, giving it black skin even though that's not true. They uh, represent um, ancient Egyptians by black skin also even though that's completely untrue. They have absolutely no proof, they're completely de delusional, and their method is, ba is basically saying lies and lies over and over again until the their lies is believed. She's clearly saying, I don't care what they tell you at school, Cleopatra was black. She doesn't care about history or her descendancy or literally anything. This is the average skin color uh, for ancient and modern Egyptians. We call it the weedy color. There was and there is minorities uh, of lighter and darker skin. Here's an example of a couple of um, Egyptian actors who look almost identical to their ancestors. This is how ancient Egyptians represented themselves and this is how they represented black people. What's actually embarrassing for Afrocentrics is that for our ancestors, our black neighbors were seen as enemies. And ancient Egyptians represented their enemies in a humiliating way. Chained, stepped on, or on the bottom of a crunch. These are the sandals of King Totankhamun, And as you can see, there are, paint, uh, there are black people painted on it. As they were seen as enemies and uh, Totankhamun wanted to be stepping and humiliating his enemy in each and every step. A black person claiming that, that ancient Egyptians were his ancestors is just as, an, as embarrassing as a black person claiming that ancient Brits are his ancestors. We can't just watch and do nothing about it because Afrocentrics are looking forward to occupying Egypt and stealing our land and taking it away from us. If we don't fight lies with facts, lies will be believed. What we can do is educate ourselves of this matter and sharing awareness and spreading awareness about this matter. We also need to cancel celebrities who support the Afrocentrics uh, and Afrocentric celebrities like um, Kevin Hart and the Smiths. We also need to cancel uh, the platforms that support Afrocentrics like Netflix. اوكي في الفيديو ده انا طالع بس اسال شويه اسئله عقلانيه جدا الافروسنتك لو كانوا فكروا فيها ما كانوش هيحاولوا يسرقوا حضانه مش بتاعتهم اول سؤال انتوا ليه مش في مصر طالما مصر بتاعتكم ده يعني اصغر سؤال ممكن اساله انتوا ايه اللي طلعكم بره واحنا جينا منين احنا طلعنا من الارض يعني احنا كنا في الارض واحنا طالعين كده فجاه لقينا نفسنا في مصر بعد ما انتوا بنيتوا الحضاره الجميله التحفه دي تحفه تحفه ما شاء الله عليكم بجد مشيتوا وسبتوها ليه بقى رحتوا فين يعني دي اول حاجه تاني حاجه مش معنى ان انا لقيت حضاره فيها بني ادم لوني فلنفترض اصلا ان الفراعنه كانوا سود تعالوا نفترض ده مع بعض هيبقى لازم الفرعون ده يبقى جدك انت المجرد يعني انا دلوقتي لو لقيت واحده شبهي امريكيه يبقى انا وهي لازم نكون انا وهي قرايب يعني لازم نكون عادي دي خلق مش شبه بعين عادي جدا انا مش فاهمه انتوا ليه ماسكين في حته ان هم طالما هم سود زيكم خلاص يبقى احنا نروح انا مش فاهمه وبعدين ليه دايما بتفتكروا ان ان حضاره مصر الافريقيه كلها حضاره مصر لمصر انا عمري في حياتي مثلا ما شفت ناس بتقول حضاره الصينيين لاسيا كلها للسعوديين بقى والدول الخليج وروسيا ومش عارف كل اللي في اسيا ما شفتش حد بيعمل كده حضاره بلد لبلد مش لازم بلد تبقى حضرتها لقاره كامله ده اسمه تخلف ده اسمه تخلف جدا يعني انا عايزه افهم دلوقتي الصينيين مثلا في اسيا 
هل ده معناه ان كل اسيا شبه بعض وكل اسيا شبه الصينيين لا اسيا فيها الخليج اللي هم السعوديين وكده وفي روسيا وفي دول تانية في اسيا يعني هل كلهم شبه الصينيين ده نفس النظام في افريقيا بتيجوا بقى عند افريقيا تستغربوا احنا ازاي مش كلنا سود عادي ما اسيا مش كلهم صينيين اوروبا مش كلهم عليهم خضراء ايش معنى بتيجوا علينا احنا وتروحوا مستغربين تتخضوا كده ايه الغباوه دي فبعد اذنكم فكروا الاول قبل ما تتكلموا وقبل ما تسرقوا اي حضاره يا ريت تفكروا ولو كانوا الفراعنه كانوا سود ليه هيرسموا ناس سود على المعابد كانهم عبيد وليه هيرسموا نفسهم باللون البني او اللون اللي هو الريدش براون اللي هو البني المحمر شويه ده ليه هيرسموا نفسهم كده انا عايزه افهم بقى يعني مش هم سود هيرسموا نفسهم كده ليه وهم اصلا الفراعنه لما كان عندهم اعداء كان في طبعا مشاكل بين الفراعنه والكوشيين او المصريين القدماء بحب اقول المصريين القدماء اكتر كان في بصوا بقى بتاعي كان في فكان في مشكله بين المصريين القدماء والكوشيين وهم جم احتلونا فتره الكوشيين بقى كده احنا احتلناهم بقى كده تعال خامون عرف يرسمهم على المعابد كانهم اعداء فاحنا بنعرف نرسم بالاسود والله احنا يعني ما كناش لسه ما اكتشفناش الكالر ده فكانوا بيرسموا بالبني لا والله احنا كنا بنعرف نرسم باللون بس احنا عشان كان لونهم بني فهم بيرسموا بالبني بس بس وقبل ما تجيبوا لي سيره الاقصر واسوان اللي انتوا تحبوا تستخبوا وراهم اللي هم ابر ايجيبت عامه دولت برضو مش سود انتوا لو نزلتوا هنا هتلاقوا ملامحهم ملامح مصريه بس هم لونهم اغمق لونهم مثلا لونهم اسمر هم دول تعرفوا لونهم اسمر مش سود في فرق اتمنى يعني حتى لما تيجوا تسرقوا حضاره تعرفوا ازاي تسرقوها ما تبقوش اغبياء كده وانتوا مش فاهمين اي حاجه بجد زي فيلم نتفليكس اللي اتعمل من غير ولا ريسيرش ده